All right, so next season coming up, releasing August 7th, 2023, Marvel Snap presents Big in Japan. I, when, when I saw that was the title, I was like, how about how about some uh, like Sunfire or. Uh, right. I don't know. They're, they're all Wolverine themed, exactly. uh, which is weird coming on the heels of another X-Men centric set. Well, except for Echo, I guess. But that but that's the thing. Usually there's a couple, you know, there's one or two zigs. And that I guess the Spider-Man set was an exception, but I don't know that 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 was niche enough. I don't know. I was just expecting maybe something a little different. Maybe uh, like I said, a Sunfire or come on. How about uh, how about original pre-Disney Big Hero Six? Huh? Yeah, there you go. Huh? People would be like, "Oh my gosh, look at this!" Why did they um, make Max a lizard? Because that's what he was. He was not eat dumb. it, eat it. And I, I and I love that Big Hero Six movie. I well, there would be a there would be a big you know there would be a Baymax variant of the of the Baymax that we're, yeah. we all know and love. All right, well, let's talk about some cards here. We're going to start out with Dokken. Three cost, four power card. On reveal, add the Miramasa shard to your hand. Be, people out there are like, what in the world? I know a little bit about the Miramasa, and I know I'm mispronouncing everything here. Uh, I, think, I think that's right. I know a little bit about that because I did read a what if one time of it was what if wolverine well, father I, I i looked it up online do you want me to to explain what the miramasa is yes yes i do and i know yeah. i noticed this is a okay. shard but i know what the miramasa sword is so that's that's no, what i'm you're, thinking you're, of. you're getting it mixed up jesse a miramasa is a cocktail consisting of champagne and chilled citrus juice usually orange juice it's often served in a tall champagne flute at festive occasions such as brunch, weddings, or as part of business or first class service on some passenger railways and airlines. Interesting. So I cannot wait to see oh, the My bad. That that is a mimosa. Oh. It's a mimosa. My mistake. Not the Muramasa. Muramasa. So the Muramasa shard, when this is discarded or destroyed, double Dawkins power. So you get this out there. It's a one one, by the way, the Muramasa shard. You lay that out, I think. Think, and if it gets destroyed, then Dokken then becomes a 3-8. He becomes an 8-power card. Pretty nice. Uh, my notes for this were leaning right into the destruction this season. You're going to see a theme here, folks, of a lot of destruction going on with these cards. You throw him into, he's just going to fit perfect into a destruction deck. Killmonger, Carnage Venom, it's all about getting that Miramasa shard out there and then destroying it in some way. Killmonger's going to do just that. It's just one more card to go in that null deck uh, that that we're facing. But uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, basically, I, I was trying to look it up. Miramasa Blade is like a sword that can kill Wolverine. It yes. uh, can disable superhuman regenerative powers and cut through adamantium. That's right. I don't know. Dakin's a character like I've I've read Dakin written interestingly, and I know we're talking about cards, not stories. But I, I don't know. He's he's not a character that appeals to me mainly because you know when you get somebody with a healing factor, uh, one of the quick things to do is like, well, how much horrible torment can we put them through? Mm -hmm. So I I don't know. I, I have seen some some stories that that are kind of interesting with him. Uh, I just put I, I I see a lot of Cosmo and armor in the future. Yeah. <laughs> this this season. Yep. Yep. Yes, it is. It's not just going to be to this card. It's going to be uh, to a lot of this. But, and it, it's when it's discarded or destroyed. So you can also, uh, you know, you can also mix up your, your discard decks a little bit. That's true. That's true. So, when the, when the discard, yeah. When that mirror Mars, <laughs> mimosa shard is, uh, <laughs> when it's discarded or destroyed. Yeah. It's going to double the power as well. So you're right. Quite the brunch. You could also, I mean, conceivably, you could have Ghost Rider bring it back and double his power again. That's you're right, or, or you're right. even Hella, which is on the last turn. But chances are, you or your opponent's going to be packing a, a magic card in your deck. Lady Death Strike, five cost, three power on reveal. Destroy each card here to, with less power than this. I think out of what I see here, unless I unless there are going to be some strong arguments of stuff that I don't. I didn't catch the first time. This is the card. This is the card this season. I think that's going to be pretty coveted just because of, the, of its versatility. Essentially you could use forge turn four. Yeah. Lady Death Strike turn five. Oh, there you go. Then you got a five. Then you've got a five power card out there. Well, that Shuri. Shuri. Shuri would be perfect. 
So yeah, you got Shuri like out there. In, uh, Black Panther number one seventeen when she and Lady Deathstrike had ladies not. No, that never happened. <laughs> ladies night outs. Ask and ye shall receive. So went to Chat GPT and I said, "Give me a story, a one shot comic that stars Lady Deathstrike and Shuri, titled Ladies Night Out, and please try to work the story so that the title makes sense." Here you go, folks. Just for you. The title of the story, Ladies Night Out. The plot. The comic opens with the Lady Deathstrike breaking into a highly secure facility in search of advanced cybernetic technology. She is on a mission to upgrade her cybernetic enhancements and regain her position as one of the deadliest villains in the world. However, she quickly realizes that the technology she seeks is heavily guarded and protected. Meanwhile, in Wakanda, Shuri is conducting experiments in her lab to improve Wakanda's technological infrastructure. She's working on a project that could revolutionize communication systems worldwide. T'Challa encourages Shuri to take a break as he notices how hard she's been working lately. Shuri reluctantly agrees and decides to have a night out in the city. As Shuri walks through the vibrant streets of Wakanda's capital, she notices a commotion at a nearby facility. Curious, she investigates and finds Lady Deathstrike engaged in a battle with the facility's security personnel. Lady Deathstrike's attack disrupts the energy systems in the area, causing a blackout in parts of the city. Shuri realizes that this could endanger her ongoing experiments and decides to intervene. Shuri confronts Lady Deathstrike and a fierce battle ensues between the two women. Lady Deathstrike's cybernetic enhancements give her an edge, but Shuri's resourcefulness and advanced technology keep her in the fight. The battle takes them through the darkened streets with Shuri using her gadgets and energy manipulation abilities to counter Deathstrike's attacks. During the fight, Lady Deathstrike's motivations are revealed. She seeks the technology to overcome her past and rebuild herself, no longer driven solely by revenge. Shuri recognizes the pain in Lady Deathstrike's words and realizes that they share a common desire to harness technology for a positive change. In a surprising turn, Shuri manages to disable some of Lady Deathstrike's cybernetic systems temporarily, forcing a truce between them. Shuri explains her own mission to improve the world through technology, and she offers Lady Deathstrike a chance for redemption and a fresh start. Lady Deathstrike is skeptical, but listens to Shuri's perspective. With the city still in darkness, Shuri and Lady Deathstrike combine their technological skills to restore power and communication. They work together to repair the damaged facility and develop a plan to use its technology for the betterment of society. As dawn breaks and the city lights up once again, Shuri and Lady Deathstrike share a moment of understanding. The comic ends with Lady Deathstrike deciding to take Shuri's offer and seek a new purpose in using her skills for good. The two women part ways, acknowledging the unexpected alliance they formed during their ladies night out and now back to your regularly scheduled program i'm gonna have to challenge chat gpt on an upcoming on an upcoming episode on reveal destroy each card here so she 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 is a bomb for sure if you can get her power up there and sure he'd probably be the best way to do it but yeah, i mean b basically it's a way to deal with some of those cards like uh like luke cage or, or things like that that are that are causing you problems. That's a good you point. The uh, Eliminator of Luke Cage. Oh, man. Echo. Those ongoing cards with that smaller yeah. power. What does, uh, what's Patriot got? Uh, he's only got one power. So, yeah, she could take out Patriot. There you go. That's that, that's what she's there. Man. Yes. Yeah, take out Patriot. Dude, Lady Deathstrike, Odin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice because I, I mean she would clear you. There you go, Jesse. Lady Deathstrike, Hulkbuster, Odin. After you've played Magic, of course. You gotta have Magic out there, or or, or with Elysium. Or yep, exactly. There, exactly. There, there you go. So there's there's ways to do it. <laughs> but uh, right. if if she's gonna be the second card out, she's gonna be six thousand tokens. So uh, yeah. better uh, better cross your fingers for that spotlight cash. And True. then get ready for your snow guard variant. And what's going to suck is then at that point, I'm going to have to play destroy, which I didn't mind at first, but now I'm like so mad because it's so dominating the meta out there. I don't want to play mm -hmm. it. And this, this season's pushing everything towards it. But anyway, all right. X 23, a one cost two power card. When this is discarded or destroyed, regenerate it at a random location and you get plus one energy next turn. So the only note I had listed here was that this is kind of a neat way to continue to get energy, mm -hmm. uh, some energy, and keep the card out there as well. Going to fit nicely in the destroy decks or the discard decks now. I mean, if you can get... It, it does say if it's discarded, so it's very much like Wolverine. 
Wolverine gets discarded or destroyed, they it comes uh, X twenty three will come back. It's the only thing is you get an extra energy the next turn, which which would help. I mean, she would even be protected against Yondu. Oh yeah, she would isn't work. Yon, Yondu's like the only way to get rid of Wolverine. You're right. I think I just saw that today. Like I did, I I got a yeah. guy. Um, I, I'm I'm trying to to open it up and look at the wording on Wolverine because because the way I read that because Yondu counts as destroyed because he counts for null and uh, death. Well, then Wolverine should not be getting destroyed. Or I should let's try that again. Wolverine should be showing back onto the playing field if that was the case. There's going to be an argument here. I guarantee it. X23 is going to make people say, yeah. well, how come this doesn't happen with Wolverine? Well, and, it may not because that is the same wording as Wolverine. So maybe, maybe she wouldn't. Uh, maybe uh, she would be taken out by Yondu as well. I guess so. What's Yondu's so, wording? What does he what does he say? I'm trying to pull that up now. Um destroy the top card of your opponent's deck. So it should work, but I I guess I mean I guess Wolverine and so I would assume X23 has to be played or in your hand for their ability to work. But then you'd think Yondu wouldn't trigger null and uh, death. Does Wolverine say destroyed? Or yeah, no, yeah Wolverine's destroyed. wording it looks the same, it starts out the same as um, X-23's. So it says discarded or destroyed? When this is discarded or destroyed. Got it. Regenerated okay. at a random location with plus two. It's the same wording except where his says with plus two power, hers says you get plus one energy next turn. That's okay. good Good thematically um, I, you know, to, to keep them similar. I like it, yeah. My I main definitely. thought is I want an X-23 variant with the Wolverine costume. <laughs> I want a wild thing variant. Oh yeah. Oh, look out ladies and gentlemen. MC2. <laughs> no, we don't want a wild thing variant because wild thing. We just want wild character. thing. Yeah, separate character. Yeah, yeah we shouldn't cuz Scarlet Spider shouldn't be a variant. That's true. Of course, maybe we'll get Chasm. Oh boy, don't get Derry started. Derry oh. was all about how he hates Chasm. He hates the fact that he's been made a villain for the second time. He hates it. He hates it. Uh, any other thoughts on X-23? No, the uh, first uh, storyline of All New Wolverine, where she took over for Wolverine, really good. Uh, mark okay. it down for future source material. Duly noted. It's it's what it's what Logan should have been. Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, all right, and final card listed here, Silver Samurai, four cost. He was five a member five. of Big Hero 6 in the comics, so. Okay, all right. On reveal, each player discards the lowest power card from their hand. Uh, so clearly just focusing on the discard portion of things. Do you play Mirage. this late? Mirage, yeah. You play this late, and maybe you have a chance of knocking out one of their other uh, higher cost cards that would be the lowest one in their hand. Yeah. But yeah, if you can do that, um, it's each player. So mind you, <laughs> uh, you got to be prepared for that too. Uh, it's kind of like yeah. Moon Knight meets Colleen Wing. Yes, exactly. Hella, Ghost Rider, uh, it will, you know, those those two are probably going to be good ways to get at whatever you lost back. Uh, but again, maybe you won't even need to because if X-23 and Wolverine's in your hand, you might, yeah. uh, you might, uh, you know, X-23 sitting there at a one cost and you are, you're the one that doesn't actually discard a card. What you're doing is you're playing something for free while your other guy, uh, your opponent loses a card. Yeah. So that's well, a neat strategy. Lady Deathstrike would work well with Wolverine and X-23. All true. Yeah. yeah. Which is which works thematically because, you know, they're all adamantium and and, uh, and she hates them. So you know, she, would, <laughs> she would love to kill them. Yeah, you get X, X-23 out there, Wolverine on the same location, oh, and lay out Lady Deathstrike. Well. Deadpool. You know, this is like uh, Lady Deathstrike is a souped up carnage that can mess uh, the other side up as well. If uh, so long as it's less than three. Interesting. Well, what are your thoughts on uh, any other thoughts on Silver Samurai? No, it's it's interesting. I can see where it'd be usable, but mine out of this one, my uh, card to get, and hopefully, if this is the right order, she'll be a three thousand as X twenty three. Okay. All plus, right. uh, plus, that's a character, like I said, from the comics that I that I really like a lot more than I thought I would. I hadn't read a lot of stuff with her, and then when she took over for Wolverine, I read several um, volumes of that, and I I really liked it. I mean, that's another one. I mean, I know Wolverine's Wolverine. Comics are comics. He had to come back, but I liked her as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting, even though I still throw up in my mouth a little just thinking about the Old Man Logan comic finale. <laughs> 
I liked when you know Wolverine Prime was gone and the Wolverines were X twenty three and old broken down Wolverine. I, th- I thought that was really interesting. So, and that uh, to the developers and Snap AI that listen to these shows regularly, no old man Logan variant. Old man Logan needs to be his own card. Separate character. He's from an alternate Earth. Old man Logan. You know, we can put him in with uh, with War Machine and Thunderstrike. That's right. <laughs> Go back in the source material archives, and you can hear me, Mark, and I think Ronnie talk about old man Logan. Uh, I'll put a seven part storyline and five really good parts. <laughs> Ooh, oh, man. All right, let's get into like, location. What's the most vile thing Marvel will let us public. Oh, let's do that. Right. Right. Mark, is it Mark Miller? Is that who it was? Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Locations. Valley of the Hand is going to be our first location we're talking about. After turn five, your destroyed cards revive here. Like I said, oh my gosh. Destruction decks are going to be everywhere, everywhere. Now, I'm not saying I hate this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's just say you got some heavy hitters out there and you laid carnage out. And well, you know what? All of them are coming back into that into the valley of the hand. So the one thing I will not do is have Punisher out there. So he doesn't show up there because I don't want him being ruined by being associated with the hand somehow. That. <laughs> This is a comic book joke. Evan Bevins, what are you thinking here? Valley of the Hand. Uh, you don't want to have Shang-Chi uh, in your deck when this is the featured location. Mm. Mm. Okay. And, I mean, you. this is one where you can try to, especially, I mean, I, I think everybody will be playing Destroy Decks when that's the featured location, but if, if you're not running a Destroy Deck, Debris, try to fill up their... Uh, their Valley of the Hand, get get some goblins over there. Ooh, smart. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, sh- uh, a turn five Hobgoblin would make somebody so mad. Viper. Uh, Viper. Oh, yeah. It's good thoughts right there. Good thoughts. So if, if you're wanting an anti-Valley of the Hand deck, yeah, goblins, Viper, go ahead and put Sentry in there in case, uh, in case it's on the right. Smart. The next location... And why don't you head to the internet real quick and just kind of break down what in the world this is. You may know it off the top of your head. Well, Yoshida, that's um, Clan Yoshida, Mariko, Wolverine's One True Love, that's yep. not a redhead, <laughs> Mariko Yoshida. Um, okay. Uh, but that I, but was I, her I always get mixed up because, like, I don't know if Marvel really made all the Japanese X characters related or if maybe I'm just a little racist. <laughs> but, okay, well, here's Yoshida Fortress. Okay. On fandom. Let's see, Yoshida Fortress, feudal Japanese castle in Osaka when the Silver Samurai was freed from his false imprisonment at the raft. He met representatives of both Hydra and the Hand who wished for him to take leadership of Clan Yoshida and establish a power base for Hydra in Japan. So that was the new Avengers storyline where Echo was Ronin, Luke Cage got thrown off a roof. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that, so yeah, uh, Silver Samurai is part of that clan and, uh, believe Mariko was his cousin and Sunfire's in there somewhere. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm, well, you, I, I'm, I'm gu- guessing that that's what it is. Yoshida base at the end of the game, destroy the last card to get here. So yeah, my notes on this were like, uh, you could make this work with Jean Grey, Mm-hmm. Um, I believe that would be fun to to have Jean Grey sitting there and you fill it up and then they, if you can move things like I was talking about earlier, that'd be fun. And no matter what they put there at the end of the game, it's going to get destroyed. And I did put on here, I wonder if it counts for moving cards there as well because it says destroy the last card to get here. They yeah, did to not me, that's s- everything. Yeah, they do not say played. They Even say, Jeff's not safe. Oh, poor Jeff. Showing up at Yoshida base and getting skewered. This is going to be some uh, shark on the Barbie tonight, baby. Um, <laughs> don't talk about Jeff like that. Oh, dear, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't say played, so I I think that's going to be a pretty... uh, It'll be a fun location just to see uh, what exactly is going to happen when when this all happens, when this all shakes down. I'm trying to think of some other car. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. No. (laughs) That would help, because if you got Null out there on your turn six, this is at the end of the game, so might be fun to put Captain Marvel in your deck, uh, just in case something does go awry and you need to send something there at the end. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but it's destroy the last card to get here. It says Fill it at the end of the game. So would Ms. Marvel, would Captain Marvel be okay there, or would she be? Or could she get destroyed? Destroy the last card to get. No, that's true. (laughs) That's true. I think they would have to destroy first. Then maybe it goes by location order. Who knows? That'd be. And Captain Marvel's supposed to win you the game, so she better not fly there and get destroyed. Have you ever seen Captain Marvel like fly to Fist Tower? (laughs) I want to see that happen. (laughs) Or what if she did that and you had Null, and by getting destroyed, she won you the game? Oh, that's diabolical right there absolutely diabolical all right i think that brings us to the end of our discussion on our hold on big in japan preview uh so we hope to see you out there uh, i'm gonna try and remember to do a poll this time so if you're on spotify check it out there go in there and uh, make a make a decision as to which card you think is going to be the most influential or maybe just you know the biggest impact uh on this coming season Thanks a lot for joining us. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next installment of Snap Material.